Bernie from Bags Unlimited, and today I'm talking all about how to rehab and archive your posters. So today I'm putting on my white gloves because my buddy Matt just got back from a flea market and he managed to score three very collectible insert posters. Now insert posters are, they're basically half of a full size poster. They are 14 by 36, pretty beautiful. Um, he got three of these from the 50s. I'm gonna pick out this one, please, please believe me. It's a, uh, got some damage to it. It's got some, it's a little bit dirty and we're gonna go through some of the products that Bags Unlimited has to help you rehab your poster and then properly archive and store your poster. First, right off the bat, you can see there is a gorgeous price tag right there that we're gonna have to get off right away. The best way to get stickers or tape or anything off of paper is with this amazing product. It's called Undo. It's completely safe for your paper. Um, you simply take the Undo, put some drops on the sticker. As you can see, I'm saturating the paper. The Undo will not harm the paper. It won't harm the dyes or the inks. It's really impressive stuff. What it will do is it'll get up underneath and it will dissolve the adhesive that's holding the sticker, even if that adhesive is 20 years old. Now the undo comes with the cap. Put the cap on, it's got a built-in scraper, which gives you a good edge to get underneath the sticker and start digging it up. Oh, this works so quick. It's just off, it's just done. There we go. That must have been a relatively new sticker. It hadn't been on there for very long. Now, the undo, you can see it almost looks like a stain. But in reality, about five minutes from now, that'll be completely evaporated and it will have left no damage on the poster. So while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and start repairing some of these tears. You can see, here's a, one of the bigger ones. To repair these tears, I'm going to use document repair tape, also available from Bags Unlimited. Document repair tape is super fine tape it's self adhesive but it almost it's almost like tissue paper with adhesive with adhesive on it um, and all you got to do is peel the tape off the backing you want to make sure that the paper is as flat as it can be and then set your document repair tape flat across this is a bone folder it's the perfect thing for working with paper this document repair tape is acid free it's pH neutral it will not yellow it won't harden or crack um, it is nearly transparent so you could actually use it on the front in a severe case obviously um, you want to try to do all your repairs from the back so that they remain invisible I'm just gonna go through now and I'm and take care of all these tears and then we'll go back and check out our uh, undo how that's dried Okay, so there you go. We have three or four rips now fixed. Let's see, you can sort of, 
really can no longer see where they are. So now let's turn it over and we'll go back to our sticker. As you can see, there's absolutely no stain left. It's perfectly clear. The only issue is um, our sales clerk, our flea market guy, when he put the five dollars on there, he kind of went over onto the poster. So we want to get rid of that little bit of ink. In order to get this ballpoint off the poster, I'm going to use an ink eraser from Bags Unlimited. They have different grits. Um, it's basically the same type of eraser you would use for pencil, but it's got silica embedded in it, which creates grit. Now, the way these work, they actually, you're actually almost sanding the paper down a little bit. So you want to be gentle, you want to be careful. If you use an ink eraser where there's ink on the poster, it will destroy the ink on the poster as well as the ballpoint. So be smart about where you're using them, how hard you use it, what you want to take off. And then you just start erasing. It takes a little bit of time and you, you want to be both patient and careful because you don't want to take off any more paper than is necessary. There's some over there too. I'm going to go for a little bit harder. Almost. There you go, there's really no ink left. Now there is a little bit of grime from underneath of that um, from underneath of that sticker. So I'm gonna take the undo, just put it right on the poster. And then I'm gonna very carefully just scrape and get all the leftover adhesive off. Now you want to be careful when you're scraping because the paper is wet. You do not want to dig into it. You want to make sure that you stay over the top, especially close to edges. It's very easy to catch an edge and dig into the paper. So be very careful. Take your time. All right, while that's drying again, I'm going to attack. There's this big black smudge. I don't know. I don't know what that's from. It's not coming off on my hands. So we're going to see if we can't attack that. The first thing I'm going to try to get rid of this um, dark spot on the poster is Absarine. This is designed to remove dirt and grime from paper. Absarine's a putty. It's almost like modeling clay. Um, you got to just dig into it a little bit. Pull some out, looks like that. You want to knead it and get it working. You want to get it so that it's pliable. You need to work it a little bit in your hands until it's a little soft and pliable like that. Okay? Then you kind of use it like an eraser, but you want to try and go all in one direction. Keep turning it. And you want to keep folding sort of the dirt into it as you go.
now that I'm doing this, I'm seeing other parts of the poster that actually could maybe come a little bit cleaner. Let me show you. You remember that black smudge? This is what it looks like now. Almost completely gone. That's the Absorine. The next product I want to show you, which is great for cleaning paper, and will go ahead and help to pick up some of the dirt that uh, the Absorine didn't finish, is this dry cleaning pad. This is the same type of pad that architects and designers, draftsmen use. It's a cloth sack, kind of coarsely woven. Inside the cloth, cloth sack is shredded rubber, the same stuff that they use for erasers. What you want to do, go ahead and knead the sack and you'll get this fine dusting of eraser. And then you just use the bag and start cleaning your poster. starting to come to life a little bit. It looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit brighter. Now it's time to start preparing it for storage. Now in order to prepare it for storage, I'm going to start by grabbing an archival backing from Bags Unlimited. This is a KAF 40 cut to size for an insert poster, 14 by 36. K, uh, KAF 40 is 40-point alpha cellulose. It's acid-free, lignin-free, and it's got a calcium carbonate buffer to prevent migrating acids. It is recognized by the Library of Congress for the indefinite storage of paper products. It's museum quality. It's a great backing for your posters. Now, speaking of migrating acids, these posters, these insert posters, are not on acid-free paper. Left to themselves, they will degrade over time. One of the best products that Bags Unlimited has for people who collect posters and other printed material, it's called Bookkeeper Deacidification Spray. This is a spray, it has no water, no propellants, nothing that can damage your paper. It creates an alkaline buffer on your paper, which traps migrating acids greatly extends the life of your paper. Now because it has no propellants, it has a special pump cap. You need to pump it in order to build up pressure so that you can spray your poster. Once you've done that, you basically just want to make sure that you cover the entire poster much like if you were spraying spray paint. There's the front. As you can see, no changes, no stains, nothing. Flip it over. And now, it's ready to be bagged and archived. So, in order to bag it, I'm going to grab a polyethylene bag from Bags Unlimited. It's an acid-free virgin polyethylene, recognized by the Library of Congress for the indefinite storage of paper products. I'm going to take my poster. So now we got our insert poster flat. That'll help flatten out some of the creases, especially when it gets in a box with some other posters. We have stopped the damage and we've preserved this. So the last thing to do is to put it into an archival box. It's made of 60 point permidor. 
It's acid free, lignin free. Got a calcium carbonate buffer inside. Recognized by the Library of Congress for the indefinite storage of paper products. It even has a drop front, which makes it easy to get your posters in and out of. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bad boy. Drop him in there. The first of our three insert posters archived to museum standards for everything you've seen here and anything else you need to protect, organize, and store your posters, photographs, or any other paper, go to www.bagsunlimited.com. I'm Bernie. Thanks for watching.